Hey, hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. So guys, in this video, we are going to focus on IPsec VPN chapter number two, introduction to IPsec. So in this video, we are going to see uh, or focus on this topic set, why we need IPsec, what is I, what exactly IPsec is and how IPsec helps us. So in the last chapter, guys, that is the introduction to VPN, uh, we, we took an example of a corporate company uh, named ABC. Okay, and this corporate company was having a headquarters and uh, was having a headquarters in Pune and branch offices for different parts of the country. Okay, and this branch offices were getting connected via internet because we're not using lease lines because lease lines is an expensive solution as compared to the internet connectivity the charges what the service provider charge for internet is much more or less what they charge for the lease lines so this company is going for this internet connectivity and it has took some uh, connectivity from the internet for each and every branches and the headquarter about various locations so we saw the problem in this is that uh, the problem was like this internet is basically the public network which is an untrusted network whereas the data was is going to get transfer from headquarters to the branch office is the private network now sorry the private data this private data when it is getting transfer over the public network once the private data is getting transfer over the public network there are chances that uh, it, can, it may get leaked or may get hacked because public network is a shared network an untrusted network many people are connected on internet and somebody can hack or leak that data and in case that data gets leaked or hacked this private data of a company gets leaked or hacked this data may be misused may get misused and this company uh, may it company may have to go through the financial crisis may be a reputation problem for this company which is not a good thing for any company so we talked about the solution on this is vpn uh, vpn actually makes it possible to transfer this data securely private data securely over this public network and how does it does it we will see in this chapter that what exactly ipsec vpn have so this is why we need ipsec uh, again why the other reason is why we need ipsec is because if you are transferring ip packets from source to destination uh, you know this I tcp ip protocol suit do not have any security built in parameters so this is another reason why we have to use ipsec now we'll try to understand guys what exactly ipsec is ipsec internet protocol security i won't say that this ipsec is a protocol no ipsec is not a protocol i will say that ipsec is a protocol suit it's a protocol suit it's a set of number of protocols not one protocol but it's a set of number of protocols it's like an uh, you can say a framework where a lot of protocols number two protocol three four lot of protocols we are using and ipsec uses this protocol to provide network security to provide the security for the data when it's get transferred from source to a destination so this is what ipsec is ipsec is a protocol suit which is a set of network security protocols this is the point which i have mentioned over here again uh, ipsec is a layer 3 vpn uh, i say this ipsec is a layer 3 vpn because ipsec work on layer 3 that is network layer so we say ipsec is a layer 3 vpn uh, ipsec was developed by if IETF that is Internet Engineering Task Force and since it was developed by IETF uh, we can use this IPsec on multi-vendor device that is we can use this uh, we, can, we can use IPsec on uh, Cisco devices Cisco routers Cisco firewalls on checkpoint uh, products on Juniper products as well and many other vendors products we can use IPsec how IPsec helps now the question comes that how does ipsec provides the security of the data 
when it gets transfer over a public network or any network when it gets transfer from source to destination what does exactly ipsec ipsec do with that data what ipsec does with that data is it provides the data with something known as c i a a it provides the data when it get transfer from source to destination it provides the data with c i a a that is confidentiality integrity authentication and anti replay now let's try to understand what confidentiality means uh for example like uh, here the two nodes a and b which which we wants to communicate and this is the internet that is the public network i'll say okay connected over this public network and on this public network guys uh, there is an mim or an hacker mim is man in middle attacker uh, and now this man in middle attacker what this man in middle attacker is doing it the data which is getting transfer from a to b in case this man in middle attacker what is going is it is reading this data he is seeing this data what exactly the data is going okay so if once he sees the data the privacy the confidentiality of the data is not maintained fine so how ipsec helps here is that it maintains the data's privacy it maintains it keeps the data confidential the data which is sent by a to b only b can read that data and how it does it it does it by using something known as encryption algorithms so ipsec uses encryption algorithm to maintain the confidentiality of the data which is traveling from source to destination again integrity so when we say about integrity integrity means that no modification means when the data is getting a transfer from uh, a to b when the data is getting transferred from a to b the data the ipsec actually ensures that the data goes unmodified unmodified means this man in middle attacker which is sitting in between will not be able to do any modifications in that data that is it won't be able to tamper that data it won't be able to add anything or remove anything or modify something it won't be able to do any changes to this data now how ipsec does this or how ipsec achieve this integrity of that data is by using something known as hashing algorithm so ipsec uses hashing algorithm to maintain the integrity of the data which is getting transfer from source to destination so integrity means to maintain maintain the data as it is means when the data is going to get transfer from a to b when the b is going to receive that data that data should be unmodified it should be exactly the same thing what a has sent to it it means it have to maintain its integrity of that data need to be maintained and ipsec provide this integrity by using some hashing algorithm guys uh, encryption algorithms hashing algorithm was exactly it is how exactly it works i'll try to explain you all these things in the coming videos one by one okay so till now we have studied two things confidentiality and integrity confidential uh, confidentiality of the data is maintained by ipsec by using some encryption algorithms and the integrity of the data is maintained by ipsec by using some hashing algorithms again authentication authentication is the simple thing authentication that the sender and receiver identify each other that a should identify that b is a correct peer and b should identify that a is a correct peer so whenever a is sending some data to b it should first authenticate that yes b is the correct receiver to whom he is sending the data in the same way b should also authenticate should also verify that a is the correct peer right and this is achieved ipsec uses something known as uh, 
this pre-shared key and digital signatures to achieve this authentication pre-shared key guys nothing this is nothing but some passwords you know that a uses some password b uses some password and once the password is matched then only the data is going to be then only they get uh, i you know the, the peers get verified uh, they identified and verified and then only the data is sent so this is something known as authentication uh, anti replay anti replay guys uh, i'll explain you I'll just draw this diagram again this is a this is my public network this is p and here is the man in middle attacker now if data is sending some ip packets to b and b is receiving those ip packets now what does this man in middle attacker do is it will catch this ip packets and it will duplicate this ip packets and send it again send it to b so what b is going to receive is b is going to receive duplicate ip packets okay so this by using this anti replay features ipsec uses this anti replay feature by which ip ipsec gives sequence number to this ip packets so in case mim the attacker duplicate this packets b will come to know that this packets are duplicate since there is a sequence number the sequence number will get repeat and then the b will have to ignore that duplicate ip packets so this is something known as anti replay and uh, anti replay and ipsec uh, actually achieve this thing by giving the sequence numbers so anti replay is nothing but keeping each packet unique no duplicate packets so guys this is how ipsec helps ipsec provides ciaa to keep the data to, to transfer the data securely from source to destination so guys uh, in this video uh, i'll stop here I'll, i'll come up in the next video with uh, we'll go into detail sort of uh, discussion on the terminologies what exactly encryption is what what exactly hashing is uh, how encryption provides a confidentiality of the data how hashing algorithms what are the hashing algorithms so different types of hashing algorithms their strength what what are their strengths uh, and then that kind of stuff uh, how does it maintains the integrity uh, we'll study in the coming chapters in the terminology chapters then we'll study uh, authentication uh, how what are the types of authentication what ipsec uses Uh, so that this kind of stuff we'll study in the coming chapters. I think this is chapter number two. In chapter number three, four, and five, uh, in chapter number three we'll focus on terminology part one, in which we'll focus more on encryption. Uh, in chapter number uh, four we'll focus on a terminology part two, we'll focus on hashing integrity, and in chapter number uh, five uh, I think we'll focus on more on authentication and so on. and then we'll see the other stuff in the coming chapters so how exactly ipsec works and what are the components and etc thing so uh, it is going to be a very good series guys uh, do watch the next videos it is going to be very interesting uh, because ipsec is a very interesting topic so do watch those videos so guys if you want uh, want the notes for this uh, series you can just write me Uh, on amar dot text stuff at gmail dot com. I'll provide you the notes as well. I do have the notes, so I'll provide you those notes in PDF format. Uh, you can also visit my blog. On this blog, uh, that is next text stuff dot blogspot dot com. I do write a post. I try to do uh, write write a post on daily basis on various topics of of uh, of networking. And guys, thanks for watching this video. But if If you are ending this video, guys, please do subscribe my channel. If you are new to this channel, if you are old to this channel, guys, please do subscribe. Please do share my video and uh, help me uh, in getting more subscribers, which eventually help me in more, which eventually is motivate me to get more and more videos out of me. Uh, so I'll stop here in this video. Catch you in the next chapter uh, in on terminology part one. We'll focus on encryption. So do watch that video also, guys. Thank you and catch you in the next video.